it is Brittany and George from the Imperium and this is vlog number two for 2024. Um, so in this vlog, I've made a couple things. George, be nice. Um, I've been working on a wholesale cat toy order, so yay. I don't have many normal makes, um, but <laughs> since my last vlog, I released a sublimation for bag making YouTube video tutorial thing. Um, we did the Tuesday Tote uh, Marathon for the Marathon Society Tuesday Tote event. Um, and then I made that part of my, you have to stay, um, I made that part of my um, sublimation for bag making series thing. I don't know. It was like a two part. I'll probably do another because I know there's more questions still. Um, I did a live with Lauren Marmino talking about like George, my NCW masterclass weekend workshop. Um, there are still a couple seats left. So if you're thinking about it, better get on it because it could sell out. Um, I did a live or two. I can't remember when the first one was. Um, I'm working on some samples for um, that class so I can bring them and everyone can see like the different materials and then um, I did a live with some peekaboos um, so I also rearranged part of my office I'm not normally right here um, I have moved my table and I'll show you that um, I was gonna clean up this area to do like a final look but I think we'll just uh, start where I'm at right now and go from there in the next vlog. Um, so that said, we go over some mail. Um, I got this in from Amazon today. And now that like an outlet shows more right here, I was like, oh, I'll get this cute little cat. Um, but it's like very peach and not printed well. So I might return it. I thought it was gonna be like pink. I don't know. Maybe Thea wants it. Um, okay, so this is the Tuesday tote that I made for my Tuesday tote and sublimation video. This is a print from Hex Reject. I have a discount code there. It is meow. This vinyl is releasing February 15th from More Me Now. This webbing is from Wizardry. And then These are the peekaboos that I made in my live um, just today. So this print is dropping tonight, so like yesterday for when this goes live, um, from Hex Reject. It's like a 420 friendly collaboration with other designers and then there's silver versions too. So this is a groovy one. And then this one is from Positive Paints and it's part of the collab. Um, so this is the silver alien kitties. Um, there's a version where they are not silver. <laughs> it's really cute. Um, so yeah, that's fun. Uh, I got webbing and vinyl and fabric in and I did retail. I still have webbing available. Uh, vinyl and fabric is practically sold out. I'm going to open another pre-order. I just need to know like what prints everyone wants. Um, as far as vinyl goes, if there's a print that I have that you like and you would want to get it in vinyl, as long as I have licensing for it, I can do it. Um, my printer's MOQ is very low, so yeah. Um, the next two weeks, uh, I'm finishing my cat toys. They're boots, you can see them. I've been working on them. It's torture. Uh, and then I'm going to work on my NCWs because class is February 17th and 18th. The day that this vlog goes up, so tomorrow for me, um, we're going to Chuck E. Cheese for Theo's birthday party, so that's going to be interesting. Anyways, I'll let you watch the rest of the vlog. Um, I'm planning on revamping a section of my office every vlog for the next couple months because... I've been so busy the last couple years. I feel like I've been so busy my entire life, but um, 
everything's kind of gotten out of control, so I need to get control. Okay, anyways, if you haven't already subscribed, I would love if you did. Leave me a comment. Likes are nice. <laughs> uh, but enjoy the rest of the video, and I hope you have a great day and weekend. Bye. Showing myself here. Okay, normally wouldn't show you how bad this is. But the holidays and <laughs> wholesale cat toy orders just have gotten me real bad. So hopefully by the time the next vlog goes up, or this vlog, this vlog, by the time it goes up, just two weeks from today, everything looks a lot better. I have plans to take this table and get a new piece of wood and have the table be that whole wall. Um, and I'm planning on de-stashing a ton of fabric because holy crap. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's bad. It's embarrassing in a way. I mean, I know we're all a little messy in our creative spaces, but it needs cleaned. It's time. Have you ever start an organizational project and realize that you are definitely making a bigger mess, but there is progress. So the cubes that were over there are now the other side of the office um, to store some other stuff. And my boyfriend is at the store getting me a new tabletop. So my table is going to go clear across this longer wall now. So it's going to free up more space in here. I hope to put the heat press right here so it's not sticking out. I think it's going to it's gonna be good. And I'm trying to do it so that there aren't just cubes filled over here. I want some wall space to do stuff. I think it's going to be good. But holy crap, I've been doing this for hours. <laughs> I've been going through like everything. I have a lot of stuff. Here's to using it and buying a little less this year. Hi. Uh, it's a video. Oh. <laughs> New table. Do you need help? It's good to get it flat. Maybe. Probably have to put the other side down first. I can't because. It's in. It's so weird. But, like, it seems so shallow. But I know that my mat fits here and that's all I really need. But now I've got a nice wide space. And then the heat press is going to go here. So it'll open. It's, it's a lot more open now. And I can put stuff up here. And then I can hang things right here. Got some wall back. It's gonna be good. Okay, so see my cutting mats fit like perfectly. It's literally perfect And then I can put some containers or something there Um, this is like a rough edge. So I'm just gonna take my hot pink duct tape and make a nice little duct tape streak. I think I need to figure out a way to secure the mats. I might put like a little lip back here just so they can't slide but Otherwise, perfect. Donna is checking out what I've been doing. Okay, so I got rid of a bunch of my like store quilting cottons. Did a bunch of de stashing. Um, this is, it looks kind of like a mess, but it's gotten so far. I'm gonna put some vinyls up there. I took all of my waterproof canvas off of the big rolls that were over there before because I don't have a wall to put them on anymore. Um, and this used to have cotton lycra down here, but I had a ton of vinyl up here. So I'm working on putting this here. So this will be like the vinyl. It'll be the vinyl wall. I had to sneeze and I didn't want to do it right into, I think I stopped it in time. Um, but I'm also sorting it right now. So like glitters, ace glitters, pearls and hollows and I don't know. We'll see how far I get in organizing it. But I'm excited to get the shelf back. Okay, I'm gonna call it quits for the night. This stuff still needs a home. This fabric needs to be folded and put somewhere. 
but we're getting there. There's not much sitting there anymore. I did have to move my clothing. Um, I bought all this, like, oh, I'm going to make hoodies and stuff. Maybe this year. Maybe we'll make videos. Uh, people kind of enjoyed my, uh, boxers video, I think, so we'll do it. Anyways, um, Donut is having fun exploring. But all of my vinyl is here, and it is sorted. Um, I'm gonna keep this cart. I can, like, wheel it under the table, or it can be by my machine, finally. Um, but it's got, like, prepped projects that are already cut and then a little spot if the cats want to lay there we'll see if they do um i've been able to put a couple things out um i gotta figure out what all is going over there for sure i'm i'm excited i just i think it's almost 1 a.m um i have a couple hours left maybe to make this half real good but I admittedly am happy that I took a before video even though I didn't want to so progress is good on huh, George okay this half back still needs love um and I've got a big old trash can I've been throwing things away um but the vinyl is all over here and then we already went over that. I gotta clean up these shelves a little bit. But this is pretty much how it's gonna be. So heat press is over here. I think I'm gonna put a shelf there and then hang some stuff on the wall. George approves. Put some stuff up there. Finally have a little bit of wall space. I can put some decor stuff. But I taped my mat so it can't slide it's nice and good and then this shelf needs a little of so I have a bunch of fabric that needs folded for over here and then those templates I think are gonna wind up over here but I went through my billion um sublimation papers and sorted them kind of I don't know I need to use them I'm gonna put a couple more hooks up over here so all the rulers can hang over there but so far I like it um the waterproof canvas is just chilling there I hope to find it a spot but this is it it's good for now I'm really happy with the new tabletop and just this space it makes it feel just so much better all right I have, okay, I'm probably recording like an intro that isn't this, so you probably already saw my hair, but and you'll probably already see these. I got new glasses. Um, they actually have like a referral code, and I'm going to post it because they're so cool, and I love them, and uh, like anyone who orders would get a discount, and then I'd get a credit too, and like I wouldn't buy more <laughs> parts things anyways um I go to America's Best I don't have eye insurance um I don't have any insurance but anyways uh they have like like their uh prices are good like you can get an exam and two pairs of glasses for like a good price so anyways I went there forgot that I had like joined their um eye care club and it was like expiring next month but I thought it already expired. So anyways, blah, 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 blah. I only had to pay $30 for my exam because I got, like, the extra testing. Like, I had a grandma who had, like, all the eye issues. So I'm like, yes, give me an extra test. Anyways. Um, but they had pear there. And, um, you know, I've seen them, like, online and stuff. And uh, they, they had, like, four frame, different frames to choose from. And then they had, like, limited toppers. So... I was like, yeah, I almost bought them there, but because my exam was free, it was going to cost me more to get them there than online. I don't know. Anyways, I ordered frames because I wanted a certain one, <laughs> and uh, I got like five toppers for them. Uh, you've probably seen them on TikTok. People like post them there a lot, but it came with a case. This is so cute. It's like a case for your glasses, and then you can put an extra topper in it. Um, 
I don't know. I may order more. Oh, they're really cold. It's cold out. Okay, so I've had these frames the last two times I've gone. So I think I've had these for five years. This is what I've been wearing. And they kind of broke the other day. They're not supposed to. Do but I got... Oh, it's going to be weird to get used to. I got clear pink ones. They're so fun. Oh, this is weird. Is it not right? I feel like this is not right. Maybe. I had a contact prescription that was wrong. So now I'm like, something feels weird. I don't know. We're going to have to see. It's so different. Uh, but I got... So they're pink clear. I got <laughs> pink glitter. <laughs> um, I got, so wait, that was rose gold pink glitter. This is like hot pink glitter. <laughs> oh, I'm like, I don't want to get the lenses dirty. I got, well, they stick together. Okay. I got black. So I could, you know, be like my normal look. This is weird. I don't know. If you don't wear glasses, you don't understand. But like when you put new glasses on, it's just very weird. I got hot pink. <laughs> and then, okay, so my thing is, I don't like wearing my contacts anymore. I just don't like it. And uh, I pretty much only wear them so I can wear... Um, sunglasses to drive. Heck yeah. I wonder where Donut went. He was in here. Um, but this is like Galaxy. It's pretty cool. Um, they have just Galaxy frames too. I thought these were going to be more pink. Like online, they look like these are very pink. This is so weird now. Like, it's not me. But... Yeah, so, uh, I got the lens, the frames with the lenses and five toppers. Yes, that is five. I got, uh, it was like 200 bucks, free shipping. So, really, not bad. Oh, also, because I got, um, I got, like, a warranty thing for the frames. That was $20, so... I don't think it was bad at all. Um, yeah. They are fun. Oh, okay. So if you need them adjusted, uh, you go to the website and find a partner optical store in your city. So probably that would be uh, America's Best for me. And then there's a cleaning cloth, too. <laughs> you know what I guess what you could do is if you wanted to change up your sunglasses <laughs> you can put something out no <laughs> um you also earn like uh rewards on their website too so I think I already have like ten dollars towards another one okay let's see here um I think I had mentioned in my last vlog when I got um a goose uh the flirting cat from Captain Marvel um I got like a pin <laughs> I got a couple things <laughs> I wanted the like regular one there's a flocked one I need it um and I think this is stuff too I just, I don't know, I was on some website, I saw something, and then I was like, oh, what else do they have that I don't know about? Also, do you, did you notice I'm in a different spot? I was like, there's a camera right here, or a um, tripod. <sighs> okay, I have one, I wanted this for a while, and the price on Amazon went up so high, but I found it in a little bundle of a couple things. I don't even care about one of the things in here. Embroidered patches. Don't care. Nothing to do with the cat. But. It's a pen. I love 
love it so much. Okay, so that can, I have one other Funko pen, zero. So they can hang out together over here. Okay, um, enough with my random purchases. I actually have a business purchase. I'm trying to get used to myself in these boxes. I'm trying to get used to seeing with them. I'm worried that my prescription's not right again. I don't know if it's just because I have to get used to it. Because my I got worse. Oh, there's Donut. Can you see him? There? That's where he is. Something just doesn't feel right. I'm like... And I think it is because I can see right out of my eye, like, better now. <sighs> Sorry you have to deal with this. You signed up for it when you watch this. Okay, I got a shipment of vinyl. I have to cut these down into rolls. Um, by the time this vlog goes up, I probably will have already put them up for retail. Uh, but I got Meow Shrooms. And any that were pre-ordered will have shipped. I got the Fairy Circle Kitties. Meowy Night. Um, this is like a coordinate mostly, but it's like a blackish background of gold. There were two of those. And then the same Stars and Moons, but it is pastel. Uh, and there's webbing to match some of these that is almost here. Um, there is this print I've had on webbing and clear vinyl so far, so now we've got it on regular. And then, yes, okay. And then a brand new print. Look at the alien kitties. Are they? Oh, they're upside down. Yeah. This roll is longer. They're so cute. I think I got it on a uh, canvas too, like cotton woven canvas. So excited. Okay. I'm gonna try to get used to these. I love them, but I have to get used to them. It's weird. Okay, bye. I got a couple things in the mail. Oh, shoot, I moved. Okay. So, when I did my pre-order for vinyl and fabric all that, didn't have a lot of fabric ordered. It's okay, we're trying it out. Um, but it came in. So, cotton lycra, uh, the Meowy Night. And then I have cotton canvas for the black and gold stars and moons. <laughs> and I got the space alien kitties. I'm obsessed. They're so cute. Can't wait to use it for something. Um, so I'll be listing retail for uh, that and um, the vinyl and webbing as soon as the webbing comes in. It has shipped. I'm just waiting for it to get here and then the weather has been real bad, as everyone in the country knows, because it's been bad everywhere. Um, okay, I'm so excited about this. Ooh, is it in a protector, too? Like I said, I was on eBay, and I was just searching things. So I found this newer Funko Pop. I didn't know it existed. Ooh, it is in a protector. That's cool. Um, sorry, it's wrapped in bubble wrap. <laughs> it's Goose with the Fleur Kittens. <laughs> it's literally the Goose with three of them and then one separate. 
<laughs> so cute. I'm so excited. I'm gonna have to get them all out of the boxes. Okay, that's, that's enough of the things I bought myself for fun. <sighs> okay, I got Nordic from where we know. Packages get so dirty. almost forgot what I got, but uh, the January 15th release had this watermelon Lux vinyl, and it's so pretty. Ugh, I got two rolls of that, and I got, oh yes, I got, um, <laughs> my friend Josie <laughs> sent me those uh, Squishmallows from the Happy Meals because Thea and I have not been able to get it yet. Um, actually, Thea and I just had Happy Meals for lunch. We got the hedgehogs again. Um, but I got water resistant canvas in the uh, Rainbow Critical Rose. And then I got Nickel, Black Nickel, and Rainbow in the new um, star pop tab pools. I feel like they're thicker than the other ones. They're really cute. So I'm excited for that. Um, that is all I have for now. I have something gigantic coming in the mail tomorrow that I can't wait to share. It involves my cats. And then waiting for the webbing. I don't think I have anything else coming. <laughs> okay, bye. Welcome back. George, come here. George would like to share that we got our webbing pre order in. He looks so happy. Here. Oh, this is not this. You're not gonna play with it? Ah. There. He's happy. Okay, um, so I got. Four one inch, yes, four one and a half inch wide webbings. George, you're cute. So we got this really pretty pastel star and moon. We got the black and white star and moon. Now he's trying to play with that. Um, these are both hex reject prints that I turned into webbing, and then the pastel rainbow stars are back. We had them in one and a half inch. No, we had them in one inch already. But now, ugh, sorry, this rolls bigger. We have one and a half inch in the white and the black. George, see, I knew you'd like it. Um, okay, so those are the four one and a half inch wide prints. I'm afraid there's a child coming downstairs. Okay. And then in one inch, I did this hex reject bat print. And then we did the black and white stars and moons. And we did the pastel moons. So these two. So these go with. So they're a little bit different. I did um, have to change the scale and the placement of each of them so that they would look their best. Like the moons even for like these two are different. But they're so cute. And then this one, I really love how on the one and a half inch wide you get more of the colors. They're both really fun. I can't wait to make stuff with them. Just trying to figure out what to make with them. Retail for webbing is up on my website already. Um, the vinyl and fabric I shared um, might be sold out by the time this vlog goes up. Um, I did share it on my YouTube page though. So yeah. Um, also, I got these cute little heart shaped baskets from Walmart. I thought maybe they'd be cute to use those little shopping bags at shows. I don't know. 
I might, I might not. They're like a dollar each, so. Yes, I'm gonna do a live tonight. Going to work on all these Tuesday tote, nope, NCWs that I started prepping. So I have samples for my class. Um, there are only a couple seats left in my NCW Masterclass weekend workshop at So Whatever Studio. So if you are debating it, um, snag that up. It is in a couple weeks. So I'm really excited, looking forward to it. 